Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-83 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the shaft is supported by smooth thrust bearing at A and a smooth journal bearing at C. If material has an allowable bending stress is 24 ksi, determine the required minimum diameter of shaft to the nearest 1 over 16 inch. So you can see this is the shaft that is having diameter D clear and at A we have a smooth thrust bearing and at C we have a smooth journal bearing. At B we have a load of 3600 pound and at D we have a load of 1800 pound. So for the material allowable bending stress is 24 ksi so you have to determine the smallest diameter D to the nearest 1 over 16 inch. So let's start with the solution so we know that allowable or maximum bending moment uh, bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c which is the radius of this shaft divided by i so we know that for i for this shaft having radius c where c is equal to radius diameter is given and c is radius and this c is equal to d divided by 2 so for circular shaft having radius c is i is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 so when you put it in this formula so allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by pi by 4 c power 4 so from here you will get c3 will be equal to maximum bending moment clear maximum bending moment into 4 divided by pi into allowable bending stress and this c will be equal to radius will be equal to cubic root of maximum bending moment into 4 divided by pi into allowable bending stress so once we will find c so we can find the diameter now you can see here c will require the maximum bending moment clear and allowable is given so we will find this maximum bending moment by using shear force and bending moment diagram for that first step is that if you remove this smooth thrust bearing at A so you will be having a reaction force RA by the bearing on this shaft similarly if you remove this smooth journal bearing at C so you will be having a reaction force RC by this bearing on this shaft so we will find this RA and RC by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point c first moment is this r a into perpendicular distance is six this is clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus six times r a the second moment will be this 3600 into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is counterclockwise so it will be positive so I will write 3600 into 3 and the last moment is due to this 1800 and perpendicular distance is 3 and this is clockwise so it will be negative so minus 1800 into 3 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get 6 R A will be equal to 5400 and R A will be equal to 900 pounds. Now you have this R A, so you can find this R C by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So R A which is plus 900 because it is upward minus 3600 plus R C which is not known minus 1800 will be equal to 0 so from here you will get rc will be equal to 4500 pound now you have ra and rc so you can find the shear force and bend bending moment diagram you can draw it so for that i will take the vertical line from the end of this beam and a horizontal line to show the length which is in feet x is in feet we have V on Y axis having unit pound clear so let each division is 500 pounds so 500 are uh, 1000 similarly minus 500 this will be minus 1500 
this will be equal to minus 2500 pounds this will be minus 1000 minus 2000 etc there now we'll plot first point and the first point is at point r a we have r a which is 900 so your first point will be 900 so 900 let 900 is this point now moving from point a till point b is there is no other force shear force it will be 900 but at point b we have load of minus 3600 so it will change to minus 2700 at point b so shear force will change to minus 2700 so let 2700 is this one minus 2700 so shear force will change from this to this now moving from point b to c there is no other shear force so it will remain horiz horizontal but at point c we have rc which is 4500 so minus 2700 plus 4500 will give you 1800 plus value so we'll locate 1800 so let 1800 will be somewhere here because this will be 1500 and this will be 2000 pound so shear force will change from minus 18 uh, minus 2700 to 1800 clear and moving from c to t there is no other shear force it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see minus 1800 downward will cause it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the Bending moment diagram so for that again I have to draw a horizontal line to show x in feet and on y axis we have a bending moment that will be unit pound into feet. Let one division is 1500 so 1500 this will be 3000 similarly minus 1500 minus 3000 minus 4500 and minus 6000 here and at x is equal to 0 we have movement will be equal to 0 now first area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to 900 multiplied by this length which is 3 feet so that will be equal to 2700 so first point at this we will have 2700 so let 2700 is this one now you can see shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending move and this area is positive so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a linear line and slope will be increasing so we'll join these two points the second area is this area and this area is equal to minus 2700 multiplied by three feet and that will be equal to Five eight thousand my eight th minus eight thousand one hundred so plus twenty seven hundred minus eight thousand my uh, one hundred will be equal to minus five thousand four hundred at this point so we'll locate minus four thousand five hundred for example if this is the point minus five thousand four hundred now you can see shear force is a horizontal line and this area is negative so bending movement will be a linear line and slope will be decreasing so we'll join these two points using straight line the third area is this area and this area is equal to 1800 multiplied by this length is a three feet so that is equal to plus 1500 so minus 1500 plus 1500 will bring to zero at this point clear so this will be your next point now shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because area under the shear force is a positive area so this is your bending moment diagram now from this bmd clear this bmd we have maximum absolute value of bending moment is equal to minus 4500 pounds into feet so this maximum bending movement is equal to 5400 pounds into feet and we want to convert it into pound into inch so one 
feet is equal to 12 inch so I will multiply it with 12 and unit will be pounds into inch that will be the maximum absolute value of bending moment now put it in this formula so we will get C is equal to maximum bending moment which is 5400 multiplied by 12 into this formula we have 4 divided by pi into allowable bending stress is 24 ksi so i will write 24 into 10 to the power 3 that will be psi pound per square inch and we will have a cubic under root so when you solve this clearly you will solve this so you will get c and that c will be equal to 1.51 inch so we need diameter so diameter is equal to 2 times radius so 2 multiply by 1.5 1.5 1.51 will it will bring it to 3.02 inch now you have diameter is equal to 3.02 inch clear and we have been given to calculate the minimum diameter nearest to 1 over 16 so 3 inch is 3 plus 0 0.02 inch so 1 over 16 we know that 1 over 16 is equal to uh, 0 0.0625 which is greater than this value so but we have been asked nearest to 1 over 16 inch it's clear so we will choose we will choose the diameter d is equal to 3 1 by 16 inch and this is the answer of our this question so 3 into 1 by 16 inch diameter is selected are calculated for this shaft under the given loading and for allowable bending stress of 24 ksi and that was all about this problem 6-83 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me